Mailbag bag time again. I've got other packages coming still, so I'll be adding those on the end. There'll be more than three things. So let's get started. I recently added a new thing. You can buy me a coffee now. That's a new thing. I've only just set it up. Links down below in the description. If you don't want to commit to being a patron, you can do a one-off donation with that. Okay. <laughs> Interesting packaging. We have two two lug triax connectors. So this is the triax connector. So you've got the center pin, you've got an inner shield or guard, and you've got the outer one. And it's got two connectors there. I think those were marked as new old stock or something. The reason I've got these is I've got the Keyfly 220, which I've done a video on recently. The triax connector on that's playing up because it's been damaged. I think it's been bent a bit or something. So the chest on that thing was bent, so it's a bit wonky. And I think it's damaged the connector. So I was going to replace the connector. Now I've got two lug tripe just drive, which is the same type as the original unit. And I've also got over here some three lug versions, which I've shown in the previous mail bag. Um, same kind of thing, just three lugs instead of two lugs. So I could use either one, same mountings and stuff. The decision really is do I want to modernize it by going to three lug, or do I want to stick to two lug and keep it original? Now the problem is. I've already purchased cables which are two lug cables. So things like this. Quite a nice cable, this one actually works really well. That's a two lug triax. It's a bit of a problem because if I go to three lug, we should modernise it. And it also mean you can't accidentally put a BNC plug into it. The two lug cables I've got, which I've spent a bit of money on, won't fit it anymore. Now I was trying to find some adapters, because I know you can get adapters. But I could only find ones that went from three lug, sorry, from two lug to three lug. I couldn't find ones that went from three lug to two lug. I haven't yet to find those yet. If I could get a three lug triax to two lug triax type, so it's like a female to male adapter sort of thing, then I could put that modern one in and adapt it down to two lug. I'm going to be using the other cables. I mean, if I put these ones in, I'm universal. If I put this one in, I'm modernizing. <sighs> Yeah. Can you guess where this one came from? Guess is down below in the comments. Also, if I can give you links to things, I will, as I always do, in the description down below. Interesting. <laughs> well, it looks like it's packed well enough. All right, what's this? Okay, it's still sealed. Apparently, it's gold plated. Paid forty-eight dollars for this thing. So it's an EA9112. So this is a triax connector, kind of. If I can get the plugs off. It's been on them for a while, I think. <laughs> Alright. It's not truly a triax, so it kind of is. It's done the job anyway. So this end, as you can compare it to these, it's not actually the same. Yeah, this is. Oh, it's, I got this thing thinking I might need it for something, but looking at it now, I realised actually I've made a mistake. This is not the kind of connector I need. That's what I get for assuming of what it was. I assumed. I made an assumption, and that was a mistake. So, this is absolutely no use to me. <laughs> and I paid a lot of money for it. Oh well. Put it back in the bag, and chuck it in something, I don't know. I don't know what it's used for. It's not what I thought it was, I made a mistake. Damn it. This package is from Zotec. So I'm guessing this is, this will be a review item. I just don't know what it is. I don't remember what the last conversation was that I had with Zotec. What's in here? All right, okay. Well, it's definitely a review item anyway. Red, okay. LCR tweezer. Right, is this a new tweezer? Nice little case. Now I think I already have a Zotec tweezer, don't I? I think I do. Test board as well. Does up to 10 meg. Oh, I accidentally pushed the button. That's a metal housing. That's not plastic, that's metal. 
Nice. Okay. Well, that's fast. To make. Oh wow, well, that's almost instant. Zero ohm. Yeah. Well. One ohm. Yeah. Well, wow, this is um. That's fast. Okay. Well, I'll be doing a proper review on this thing, so watch out for that coming out shortly. Um, I'm looking forward to it actually. So. Auto rotates as well. Oh, lovely. Turn it off. Nice. So watch out for that review soon. Probably in the next couple of weeks I'll get that done, if time allows. But yeah, it looks promising. I mean, I've got a couple of tweezers now. I've got the Shannon tweezer, which is like my original tweezer, which is this thing here. I'll keep this one on hand. Really like this one. And I've got another Zotic one. I've got a Fenersi one. Um, around the place somewhere. I don't tend to keep them on hand, but that's I only really need one tweezer on hand, but that one looks quite good so far. Anyway. That's that. You're right, just in time before I even took the footage of the camera. What's this? Miniware. Oh right, okay. Okay. This is a review item from Miniware. So Miniware sent this to me to do a review on. A little electric screwdriver. Or metal construction. So watch out for that, I'll be doing a review on this thing very soon. I haven't done a review from anywhere for a little while, so um, I've done a couple before. Another item to look at. That seems quite robust actually. Anyway, we'll find out with the review. Another item here. Yeah, that's pretty quick. It's a SSD holder thing, so USB C to USB A. Okay, in cap with some rubber mounts. Well, no, the plastic mounts, I think. Here's one side, and then here's the other side. So it allows for different size SSDs. Now, I've got a couple of them, I actually ordered a couple different types. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use yet. There's no thermal pads in this one. I've got these. I don't really think these are thermal, they're just foam. When I'm doing video editing, I need to have a scratch disc for my like, cache of the video. And I was using the internal hard drive on the Mac Mini, and it was just eating it all up. I was running out of hard drive space because it could be hundreds of gigabytes of cache footage when I'm doing a 4K video edit. I'm only exporting 2K, not 4K, so it does get scaled down, but the raw footage is 4K. It uses a lot of space and I was a bit worried about wearing out my internal hard drive and basically having issues because I'll keep on constantly filling it right up. Not good. I went into an external drive which I use for file storage and that's behaving better but it's causing issues with backups because that drive is backed up. I don't need my cache to be backed up. Even excluding it is causing me some issues. So I thought I'd get a external drive case like this. I'm sure this goes in, there we go. It is. can put in a random SSD I've got laying around, I don't really care what, what it is, I mean, you know, 256 might be big enough, maybe, 512 certainly would, and then I can just plug this in and use this as a scratch disk for when I'm doing video editing, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect or wonderful or even particularly fast, I mean, I think these are fine, but obviously a bit of a DIY kit, anyway, it's supposed to do USB 3, 3.1, Gen 2, and a whole bunch of nonsense stuff, it doesn't really matter, uh, M2, NG and F, NVMe type support, but yeah, anyway, yeah, it's one of the options. Of anyway, I've got a couple of different ones, it comes a little screwdriver too. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. Okay, I've got my little fluke running right now. I'm just doing a long term test on the Keyfly. Now, the only problem is since I moved this and turned on my LED lights on, it's screwing my readings on my Keyfly. Yeah, anyway, it's cut by what's that one microvolt? <laughs> yeah, um. Anyway, next thing. Well, it feels like there's nothing in this one. Two chips. What are these? WM8078G. Right, these are audio devices. These I picked up to repair the Edifier stereo system thing, which I think this chip is bad in. So we'll see. Be doing a video on that. I've already recorded a bunch of footage working on it. I actually did it in live stream. And it did seem to fix it at the time, what I did, but the issue came back again later on, so I'm going to replace this chip. Don't forget to put links down below for things I'll give you links for too. Right. P 
PCB mount female BNC connectors and yeah, one of them's got a broken leg look look there's a broken leg there that one's okay that one's okay where's the one which is broken that one's bent slightly that one's okay nice no, of course it's the last one I look at of course it is does it matter probably not as long as the other ones are still intact it's probably going to be fine yeah and these are for this project which Ian Johnson sent me this circuit board which I showed before another mail bag these should hopefully fit on that board and that will allow me to build that up actually I don't have any wire I can use for that yeah, I might have to get some another one these weren't very expensive which is why I was you know, looking at two different types I think this one was more expensive than the first one I think that was like $15 or something this one's about $30 remember rightly go and look at the links down below to go and find out so it's USB-C to USB-A with a USB-C adapter thing got a thermal pad in there a bit of heat sinking some screws and well mounts sorry rubber mounts there's the housing I'm not sure how you get into it but there's the housing it has a little instruction manual oh you slide in sideways that way you got a little arrow on there there we go okay then you can slide the whole thing out nice this has got the thermal pad and the heat sink which you can put inside the casing here to help take the heat away from your device nice and all electronics are enclosed and protected I was kind of hoping that there'd be a thermal connection between this and the casing because otherwise what's the point of having a metal casing if you've got a heatsink trapped inside the enclosure that part's probably not so good maybe you can put another thermal pad in there and make some contact between the two that would do that wouldn't it yeah I don't know anyway that's all right yeah it doesn't really say much about how to get into it for NVMe and SATA SSDs M2's obviously there's the details there 5 gigabit or 10 gigabit potentially what are the different ones? hmm which enclosure is this one? NVMe SATA yes which version? it says silver and it says the G2 so PXP WE M2 G2 apparently which one's that? that's the last one there that one there so 10 gigabit M and B key yep another item just arrived so let's look at these on right these are some triads connectors I think they're both the same. Yeah. This I need for one of the meters I'm repairing. Is actually like a three lug triax. Actually, one of two lug triax, but I think I've got one in coming as well. So you've got three connections, as you'd expect with triax. So this is for potentially my Keyflu 220. The triax connector on that's a little bit dodgy. But well, I'll get some spares. These were actually relatively cheap, so that's good.